up mystery gang all right so you guys y'all already know how we start every video hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed you guys and make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video and another thing you guys is i'm trying to get my views and my subscribers up on youtube so you guys please share my videos and if you're not subscribed like i said please subscribe to your girl i got some good content coming let's get into this story all right, so today we're going to be talking about the case of Maricela Botella. Now, Maricela was a 23-year-old woman from Seattle, and on October 2nd, she went down to Dallas, Texas to visit an ex-boyfriend. Now, the ex-boyfriend name is Ortiz, and he's saying that Maricela came down just to enjoy herself and have a good time. But on October 4th, the evening before she was supposed to return home, Maricela decided to go out. Now she went out by herself and her ex-boyfriend is saying that she caught a lift. Now she went out and she ended up going to a bar in Texas and surveillance footage shows her in a bar with a guy and it shows her leaving with a guy. Now Ortiz, he's at home. He's thinking that, okay, she's going out and you know, she'll be back because she has to go home tomorrow back to Seattle. But you guys, Maricela never returned home after leaving this bar. Now you guys, so as time is going by, Ortiz noticed that she's never returned back to his home. So that's when he notified her family, like, look, she missed her flight. All of her things are here, which her debit card and her phone and stuff was still on her. She had those things because she went out, but her clothes, everything else was still left at the house. Cause remember she took a lift to the bar. Now that's when her family drove all the way to Dallas, Texas, because they was like, look, Maricela, she travels a lot. She's 23 years old. This is not like her not to answer her phone, no text messages. She didn't send any emails. There was no type of movement on her cards. Like even when they tried to pin the phone, they couldn't even really track the phone. So that means the phone was cut off. Now, her family, her friends, they came down and they started looking for Maricela. And as we all know, you guys, police they don't really like to say a person is missing until it's been like at least i think 48 hours and a lot of times when you have people that's like in their 20s and they're out hanging out and having fun police like to think that maybe they just lost track of time or maybe they're somewhere where they don't want their family to know and they'll get in contact when they feel like it so in the beginning they did not see maristella as a missing person they were just trying to locate her because see they had the bar footage showing that maristella had left with a guy so they're just thinking like maybe she's with this guy and maybe you know she's okay so police track down this guy and they try to figure out what's going on and has he talked to Marcella since the night of the bar. Family released a video they got from a bar on Elm Street. They say surveillance cameras outside captured Maricela with an unknown man. Dallas police have not verified the tape, but her family says it's her and the man is the key to helping find her. No sé si fue un error que fuera ahí, porque le digo ella... I don't know if it was a mistake that she went there because she was so happy to fly there to Dallas to visit, and she never imagined something like this would happen. If someone knows something, please tell us or let her go. I beg of you. Her friends and family haven't seen her since. As Alex Rozier reports, they're desperately hoping someone can help find her. On a Sunday in Dallas, Deep Ellum is one of the city's most popular spots. This is what I've been doing down here the past few days. But it's a place Patrick Helmbrecht never planned to visit. That she was in here on been missing since the 4th. He's looking for his friend Maricela Boteo. She uh, missed her scheduled flight back to Seattle on the 5th as well. Visiting from Seattle after a weekend with her ex-boyfriend, she went drinking alone on Monday, October 5th. Just after midnight, a lift dropped her on Elm Street and surveillance video showed her leaving select start, but she hasn't been seen since. From there, um, she just never came back. And that's around the same time also that um, we seen the last um, cell phone activity, um, the last time her debit card was ever used. So Marcella's family, they really did more than the police in this situation. They was like, look, this girl is 23 years old. She's travels all the time she keeps in contact with her family and her friends this is not like her so after so long the police finally upgraded the case into an endangered missing person now as i said before charles beltran was the man that she was seen leaving on surveillance footage 
So then the police, they did this press conference saying that they needed to locate Charles to try to see if he knew where Maricela was. But you guys, Charles was missing as well. They could not find Charles. They could not get in contact with Charles. And for months, and when I say months, you guys, nobody knew anything. Like there was no trace of Maricela. Her family and friends were desperate to find answers and police really didn't have any leads. So y'all, as soon as Maricela disappeared, Charles Beltran, the man that was seen on surveillance footage, he disappeared as well. It's almost like both of them just fell off the face of the earth. Police could not even find his Audi. I think it was an Audi. They could not find his 2014 Audi. They could not find him. They could not find no traces of him. Now, that right there showed investigators that something foul had to have happened. Because why would Maricela run off with a man that she doesn't even know that she just met that night? That doesn't even make sense. Now, they look for Charles for months and months and you guys, they cannot find him. And then all of a sudden, just recently on March 24th, police, they get like this tip that there's a body in a wooded area. Now, this wooded area was on Post Oak Road in Wilmer. And when they went out there, they did indeed find a body and that body was identified as Maricela. Now, you guys, the search for Charles intensifies because right after finding Maricela's body, they issue warrants out for, for Charles and a woman by the name of Lisa Dykes. Now, Lisa Dykes' maiden name is Beltran. So I'm guessing Lisa must be Charles' mother because Lisa is 49 and Charles is 31. So nine times out of 10, Lisa is his mother and they feel like she helped him with this murder. Now, so although Charles and Lisa, they are on the run, police do not know where they are at this time. They did arrest a woman by the name of Nina Moreno. Now, this lady is also 49 years old. Now, they arrested her in Miami and it's being said in one of their homes, they found blood evidence that leaked back to Maricela. So police know for a fact that they have the people that they feel like killed Maricela. Now, I don't know who Nina Moreno is. Like I said, the fact that Charles and Lisa, they're still on the run. I don't think police want to issue out too, too much information because they're afraid that it might tip them off. Now, in my eyes, the way I think that this went is Charles might have took Maricela home that night and something ended up happening. Now, I believe that Lisa and Nina, whoever these two people are to Charles, they have to be related. Now, I believe that they then helped Charles dispose of Maricela's body. But like I said, police have enough information to charge, charge everybody with murder and as they should. Now, I don't know if Miami played a huge role in this because this happened in Texas, but from what I'm hearing, Nina and Lisa stayed in Miami. So I'm not really sure how all of this ties into each other, but you guys, once Charles and Lisa are found, I'm quite sure that a lot of more information is going to come out. News regarding the search for a young woman who went missing in Dallas. Uh, human remains were discovered in a wooded area of Wilmer and investigators now tell us it is Maricela Batello Valadez. She was last seen one night in Deep Ellum more than five months ago. Valadez lived in Seattle, but flew to Dallas to visit her ex-boyfriend and decided to go out alone one evening. Yesterday, police arrested one woman in Miami in connection with her murder. Nina Morano is in custody, but Dallas police are still looking for two more suspects, Charles and Lisa Beltran. Now, although her family, they're very, very upset that her ex-boyfriend let her go out by herself, you guys. Police have not named the ex-boyfriend as a suspect at all. Like I said before, they feel like Charles, Lisa, and Nina, those are the people that are responsible and they're all wanted for capital murder. Nina is charged with capital murder and Charles and Lisa, they're wanted. So they have the people that, you know, they feel like are responsible. But like I said, we still don't know what happened. Now, another thing to look at is this has been going on since October. It, there is no telling where Lisa and Charles are at by this time. Hopefully they have not went across the border and tried to flee, but it's a whole pandemic going on. You guys, it's so much things going on to the point where they could, they could be long gone by now. And I totally agree with the family. I feel like the ex-boyfriend, he knows that this is a 23 year old, beautiful woman. Like she was drop dead gorgeous, you guys. And the fact that not only did she catch a lift by herself in Texas, 
she went out by herself to a nightclub like I just don't understand why the boyfriend would invite her down and then let her go out on her own like that just doesn't even make sense now as I said before hopefully Charles and Lisa have not fled the country but the way it looks you guys they are in hiding somewhere if you have any information on the whereabouts of Charles Beltran or Lisa Dykes aka Lisa Beltran please notify the Dallas police or notify your local police department don't hesitate to let somebody know if you know anything you guys this case it really really brought tears to my eyes because this girl was so beautiful and had so much of a life to live and the fact that they took her life like that and just dumped her in the woods they didn't know her from a can of paint this girl was from seattle she was just down here to have a good time but you guys sometimes different areas is is just not safe to be by yourself now from what i'm hearing the deep elm area i think that's what it's called in dallas texas from what i'm hearing is like a party area but you guys have to understand texas is like a tourist state a lot of people go to texas for vacation and it's just a lot of different people that be in the area that you might not never see again and sadly i think this is one of those cases where charles probably was not even really from this area but nevertheless it's a bittersweet moment because they have found Maricela, but at the same time, Maricela is no longer here with her family and her friends, and it's just a very, very sad case. Now, like I said, please, you guys, inform police if you have any information. And that's all I have for you today, guys. God bless you, and bye.